We are oh. recording now. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we gave you guys a little bit of backstory, uh, um, here's a photo of Tom Holland crying. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is great! I feel so alive! Come on, ladies, kick your high heels off and get moving! You guys are a disgrace! Peter, this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, I'm afraid I might. Ah! 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 Wow, thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. Tell him, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. It's recording, actually. So, <laughs> this is your first time. This is my first time. In a big time. green screen. Your I guess time. so. How do you feel? You just pop your pop cherry. Pop the cherry pop. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, gonna make, it's whatever, dude. Yeah, it's, we're just living yeah. our best life. Feels great. If you guys didn't know, if you haven't seen a couple of the episodes, make sure to watch them. But I guess the whole theme of this show is to fuck with the guy behind the computer. Yeah. So it feels good to be on the big screen now, there guys. There you go. Yeah. 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 Permanent action, bitch. I'm glad you guys can do shit. Uh, have you seen our president? Uh, black on black crime isn't racist. That's true. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, that's like, great because I just identified as one. Oh, well, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. It works both ways. It works both ways. Yeah. Okay. Because equality. I'll be a Jewish guy. Right You'll now. be a Jewish guy? Okay. You can't be a black Jew, then you're great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, what did you think about the new movie? Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, man. Um, it was pretty good. I'm okay. not going to lie. Um, I wish it had more of a Tony Stark presence in it, but of course he died in Endgame. Yep. But That's kind of hard to have a presence of a dead man. Okay. So, <laughs> this isn't in the beginning Wars. of the movie, um, they had a nice little segue into Homecoming part, from yeah. Endgame where... Peter Parker um, was supposed to be Tony Stark's protege, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So John Favreau, who plays Happy in the Avengers movies, yeah. kind of looked after Peter Parker, um, is getting in the hot seat with Aunt May. I don't know if you guys Can saw that. Can we just talk about how hot Aunt May is in this segment? It's like, They're doing something right. Marissa Tomei's been hot for 30 years. <laughs> she's been like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the Aunt May from like the Sam Raimi film to like Amazing Spider-Man. Hey. Like, it's like, She's slowly aging backwards. backwards. She's getting it's great. <laughs> it's great. So every, I saw a meme that says, every time Uncle Ben dies, Aunt May gets stuck. <laughs> oh, no. She's got to get back in the dating game. She's got to get rid of those wrinkles, get a little taller, you know? Uncle Ben, I'm sorry, but you got to die again. <laughs> It'll only be the fourth hey. time. I was going to say. If they reboot it now after what just happened. Yeah. yeah. But we never got what Uncle Ben looked like in um, the new MCU reboot, so. They were saying that Uncle Ben never really died, but I'm like, that kind of retcons a lot of Spider-Man lore, so we know that. That's like one of the only backstories that has been consistent. You yeah. can't just create your own backstory. <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> that's the only one that's been consistent in different actors, different well, girls, well, no, different, no, different cities, well, still well, no uncle. You gotta watch out, because SJW is trying to make Spider-Man buy now, so they're like advocating to make him buy. Right? SJW. I mean, he's in- Social Justice Fucking Warriors. SJFW. Got it. <laughs> SJW. He's in high school. That's a, that's a tough time. It's a tough time. They're going to make him trans next. Spider non binary. Honestly, he's still <laughs> under 25, so we still don't know. We for still a couple don't know. More years. We don't know. That's the rule of thumb. Guys, if you didn't know, you have until know. 25 to decide if you're gay or straight. Anyways. Yeah. Back to content. <laughs> this is news to me, bro. I have no fucking clue. How old are you? 30. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you're straight because oh, you're, you're almost straight, 20. dude. Sorry, dude. Pretty fucking sure of myself. You have to be sure you're over 25. <laughs> you don't get a choice anymore. You're, you're 30. God damn it. Get back to the segment. Back to the segue. <laughs> what about, what about Jake? Coming, what about Jake? Um, Who? The movie. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm sorry. Uh, Mysterio. Mysterio. Sorry. Mysterio. Um, Say it right. Mysterio. Mysterio. It felt like you said a stereo at the end. Mysterio. Like in the blue box when it showed up. Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> God damn fishbowl it, guy. Right. Mysterio. Tell, tell me about the guy with the fishbowl. The guy head. with the fishbowl who apparently is able to alter reality yep. without a reality stone, may I add. Um, that's kind of convenient. Where was he when Thanos was running around? Like, that's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Probably I didn't, with Captain Marvel. <laughs> I didn't understand <laughs> what he had against Tony Stark. I didn't understand that a whole lot. I guess he created uh, his Edith technology and brought it to Tony, and Tony okay. turned it down. And then used his own technology to make all of the suits and whatnot. 
Yeah. But I guess Jake Gyllenhaal still had the technology to control and make Edith and whatnot. Well, in the comic books, he was actually a special effect uh, stuntman. So he okay. used basically a lot of Hollywood tactics to trick Spider-Man a lot. So it was kind of a kind of a different kind of mode to where he had actual tech that was able to trick Spider-Man like hardcore. So yeah, that was pretty different too. And it was kind of um, the bus driver. So you know Dimitri, right? In the comic books, Mysterio always works with the chameleon, who's like the shape-shifting enemy. So yep. that's okay. how the chameleon and the Mysterio work together. That's how most of the illusions became real, because you have the shape-shifting guy running around who can become anybody. Mm -hmm. But they were saying that Dimitri, in the in the you know the guy that drove the bus, the Russian dude. I don't know if you guys yeah. remember. Yeah, that he was chameleon. that he was actually the chameleon because he shares the same name as the actual chameleon, but. I was okay, thinking okay. that um, Nick Fury was actually going to be the chameleon in Far From Home, but that would have made sense, but it wasn't. So. Well, Fury crushed. What did you think that? Oh. Well, it was, it was a lot of things. Like, Nick Fury never really met Peter Parker, for one, and okay. he's having Peter Parker do all this stuff. And, of course, the Mysterio... Wasn't there a big theory going around that, too? That yeah. a lot of people thought that? Yeah. And then, yeah. like, uh, we were thinking, like, he was using the chameleon to pose as Nick Fury to get back at Spider-Man, but whole of it was is that Spider-Man didn't know that Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio existed at all. So there was no point in bringing in Spider-Man unless he was hired by uh, Adrian Toomes, the Vulture from the first movie, or like the Scorpion who was in jail and all that stuff. So okay. there was a lot of theories floating yeah. around with that, but back to your I guess, I guess we'll never know. I guess um, we'll never know. <sighs> Comment what you guys think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We are oh. recording now. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we gave you guys a little bit of backstory, uh, um, here's a photo of Tom Holland crying. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be today of like Spider Man washing windows and like oh. Spider Man not knowing what to do after being dropped from your <laughs> And it was a guy in the Spider Man suit washing windows. Oh, and like, no. <laughs> So, this isn't funny. This, this isn't is funny. exactly how we feel about Spider-Man being dropped from the MCU. Yeah. Um, not sure if you guys have heard all the detail, but basically, Disney, of course, owns Marvel. Yep. And so, ah, and I own Marvel, bitch. Ah. <laughs> that was my Mickey. I'm Marvel not sure question. if that was a pedophile or Mickey Mouse. Could be a little bit of both. I think he's staying behind the camera for the rest of the segments. <laughs> you know what? It's cool. I have had my drink today. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> um. Oh. Basically, Man. what happened was there was a little disagreement between Sony and Disney. It was where... a big disagreement. You're right. It was, it was <laughs> it pretty kinda, big. It kind of just killed off a character, which is hard to do when you have different realities. Oh, bitch ass Captain Marvel's going to be the face of the Avengers. God damn it. Oh. That's, that's next week's segment. Oh. Oh. Today's Spider Man. Today's By the way, the photo of her holding the hammer is not the real millionaire, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's not just worthy. A prop. She's not worthy. She's still she's not, not worthy because she's a okay. woman. But stop, whatever. stop! Stop! Um, stop! So Sony and MCU <laughs> could not get their shit together. So what happened was, um, I'm sure you guys all heard about the hack of Sony in 2014, no, we did not. where a lot of their information was compromised online. Mm -hmm. Basically, the biggest thing, especially according to us at Nerd Power Hour here, yes. was that somebody found out and some insider information was leaked that. Sony was trying to do a reboot of Spider-Man. This was mm -hmm. only one year after Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was released. Yeah. And they had talks of including Marvel in the actual Spider-Man sequence. Which is great. Awesome. Yeah. But now the word got out at Spider the end of 2014, yep. they had to make a, a big dick energy move yeah. in 2015. <laughs> and they had to include they had to include Marvel in the Spider-Man sequence they because everybody already knew. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> yeah. I think they're trying to do like bringing Spider Man for like uh, the Venom movie. That would make more mm. sense. Because, like, I watched Venom and That's I was fine. like, this is cool, but how would he be interact with the actual Spider Man? Yeah, because isn't Venom like an anti hero? Where he's good sort sometimes, of, but, bad other times? Well, he was still part of Spider Man and Spider Man 3 of the original boot, too. Yes, he was. Well, in the comic books, the reason why Venom acts like Spider Man was because the symbiote was attached to Peter Parker. Yeah, so he copied. So he yeah. copied basically what Peter Parker was able to do mm -hmm. as Spider Man. That was a good movie, too. So I don't know how like, movie, the Venom and the Venom movie was able yeah. to do all that stuff, but it was still not like a pretty damn movie. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Out of their top five highest grossing movies, four of them are Spider Man. 
Three of them are Spider-Man, one of them is Venom, one of them is James Bond's Skyfall. Yeah. Um, I'm also not sure if you guys have heard, but Spider-Man Far From Home was now their highest grossing movie above that 007 James Bond movie, which is yeah. fucking like ridiculous. Didn't hmm? Disney won like 50% of like the profit? Yeah, so it went, they went from like 5% to 50%. 5% of opening box office weekend. That, that's what Marvel was getting. getting. That's what Disney, yeah, that's what Disney was that's getting. That's what Disney was getting, which, cool, right? I mean, you just made, what, two? Two billion, billion dollars between the Endgame? last two Avengers movies. Yeah, and yeah. then they said, uh, no, we like 50%. <laughs> we want 50% of the total Spider-Man franchise to fuck you, Tom Holland. And Sony um, said, probably not. You know, Tom Holland only got paid like $5 million to make that movie. Yep. Yeah. Avengers. I think we both been So he got gypped twice. <laughs> I think he definitely got paid more for actual Spider-Man Homecoming, though, because it was more... Marshall Home? Yes. Yeah, I would think so, that he would get paid more. Because, I mean, like, Tony You've been Stark saying Homecoming a lot. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's far from home. Yeah, far he's been saying homecoming quite far a bit. From homecoming. People know far what he's saying. Home. Yeah, people understand. The yeah. internet still hates you, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the but I'll tell you what, the, the memes have been phenomenal. Oh, my God. <laughs> the memes have the been memes! The memes have been absolutely <laughs> amazing. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, I've seen I've seen the one of uh, where Tony Stark says, like, I'm going to teach you to be my predecessor. predecessor. And then it shows Tyler, the creator, and it says, well, that was a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> the best one was the uh, one I sent him earlier, and it was Tony Stark. He's like, you're going to be an Avenger now, kid. And then the same Tyler, the creator thing. Yep. That was a fucking lie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no Tyler, the creator. Wait, aren't they making, aren't they supposed to be making, like, two more Spider-Man movies? Those were in the works, right? They so were in the works. Really Sony strapped. really, really <laughs> thinks that without Kevin Feige and Marvel, that Spider-Man is still going to be a smash hit. And no one really knows how. Yeah, but Sony is very, very yeah. cocky in that sense specifically because Venom did so well. So you know what I'm also curious about? Uh, how something like the Hulk might be affected too. Well, Hulk and I think Thor maybe. Because I don't think Thor is owned by Marvel. I think those rights are somewhere else. And I can't quite Thor? Yeah. I never heard that, but I know for sure the Hulk. Yeah, the Hulk. And that's why MCU sure. can never create their own Hulk independent Hulk movie. Hulk is owned by what, Fox? I believe so. You actually might be right on that. It's not owns, Disney. <clears throat> Disney owns Fox now. Disney owns Fox. So oh. technically, yeah. Oh. Another fun fact. Um, so Sony actually owns over 900 characters of the Marvel Cinematic Universe since like 1990. Oh. And the only agreement oh. they have <laughs> is that they have to make one Spider-Man movie every five and a half years in order to keep Spider-Man under, under their title. Which means they have to make a reboot by what, 2024? Ish. 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 Yeah, I'm kind of a reboot, man. Like... Like Stick with one. This is like Batman all over again. What I'm thinking is what if we go through this whole phase where there's no Spider-Man and then Sony doesn't do a reboot, so Marvel gains it back. And then like good Spider-Man is finally back after just a five year just emptiness. I mean, hearts. that would come right around the time when does when does phase four end? I don't fucking know. Well no, when's like the la- last the last movie in, in phase four? Whenever it Isn't it twenty twenty two? No. Is it later? Way later. They haven't oh. even announced the full movie lineup for Phase 4 yet. It's, isn't it starting in like end of next year, beginning of 2021, Phase 4? No, I think it's starting early next year. Start, with, starting next year. Uh, yeah. With the Black Widow With the Black Widow. In, okay. Okay. Roman. in April yeah. or May or something like that. Okay. So Which technically takes earlier. place in Phase 4, but it's considered a Phase 4 movie. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> so, that's weird. Alright. Either way. That would be good timing, though. To bring him back in at that? It would be, honestly. You yeah. can't wait bring to see him Scarlett back in. Johansson in a leather tight and that ass. Mm. Uh, we can talk about that another time. We're talking about a high school boy, if you don't mind. A high school yeah. boy? We're talking about a high school boy. Well, a high school boy in tight Scarlett leather pants. And tight leather pants. even better, so I don't really see No. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let us know what you think in the comments about this Sony Marvel Are you spoiler. sad or are you super sad? Yes. That's really what we're trying to find. Are you bawling your eyes out or are you about to kill yourself? <laughs> oh, my bad. We're not trying to Are you Tom Holland oh. wire kind of sad? <laughs> or are you Tom Holland sad puppy face sad? Sad puppy face sad. <laughs> or Andrew Garfield, hey, you did two movies, you do kind of suck, so we're going to reboot you again type of sad. <laughs> Where is Andrew Garfield these days? It's uh, one meme the last movie where he's taking he a photo in, and he gets a doll. He's like, yes, yes. It's one of those. <laughs> I'm still one important. Of those. <laughs>